Well, Madisonville is a quaint North Shore town with a population of 940 people. And while many parts of the country are seeing spikes in crime, this town's biggest challenge isn't criminal, it's more nuisance. Madisonville may be a sleepy little town, but some residents don't get much sleep as the legend of the rooster lives on. <laughs> they're, they're really cool neighbors. We still deal with it about once every, seems like eight months. We'll get a complaint, uh, you know, from somebody's rooster who is crowing, and that's what they do. Mayor Jean Pilot says the issue of roosters was brought up at about five council meetings in the past year, which resulted in a new town ordinance. That came down to 20 hens and one rooster. Now we're actually at Town Hall, and if you're wondering which side of the fence they fall on, all you have to do is look up. This is a new building and the rooster weather vane was already here when they purchased it, but it's here to stay. Just a little crooked from Hurricane Ida, perhaps representing a town divided. Those who see the rooster as a nuisance and those who embrace the town mascot. It's so peaceful out here, you hear them boys chirping, you know, it's beautiful. To fully tell this story, we must take you back to where it all began. Over three decades ago in 1989, Ronnie and Amy Arnold lived in town. They already own peacocks and decided to add a rooster to the mix. It's like a charm clock. You get used to it, so the rooster never bothered us, but I guess it did bother her, you know? Yes, a young woman in town had recently moved to Madisonville and lived nearby. She was less than thrilled with her neighbor's new addition. It's just like a regular old rooster, you know, just a er, 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 er type thing. <laughs> She eventually was so fed up, she filed a lawsuit against the Arnolds. Here's some of her list of grievances to then mayor Peter Gitz. When I moved over here, I was looking for a peaceful, quiet place to live where I could have nice neighbors and a safe neighborhood. With one notable exception, Madisonville has been everything I was looking for. She said things like, well, I moved to Madisonville to enjoy the country sounds. Well, that just went, the town went crazy over that because what is a rooster if it's not the sound of a country sound? They have a rooster that wakes me up every morning between 3.30 and 4.30. I explained to them I was having difficulty at work because of a lack of sleep. Because she got caught sleeping on the job and she blamed us, the rooster, for well, the fired. cause for her losing her job. I am at the end of my rope and having been forced out of my home and out of my job because of a rooster. I will pursue this to its conclusion. And with that, a tough decision was made. An arrest warrant was issued for the Arnold's rooster for causing a foul disturbance in the town limits, though he didn't go down without a fight. Hard to apprehend, very elusive. <laughs> he eluded us again. You saw how quick he was to get over that fence. Wanted posters went up, but not for his capture, for a name for this renegade. A handful of local restaurants joined together to hold a contest, and names came pouring in. This one's from Brookhaven. Gathered 2,000 names before they picked the name Reveille, which is kind of appropriate, you know, waking people up and stuff. <laughs> Reveille was eventually captured. This is his cell. The Madisonville Historic Museum still has his pin on display. Curator Iris Vacanti took us through the history. The media ate the story up, each headline bringing another clever pun. And Mayor Gitz capitalized on the attention his town was getting. He's become a celebrity. The next phase of the spectacle, the rooster was put on trial. He was tried on five counts, engaging in foul play, disturbing the peace, assaulting man's best friends, breaking curfew, and violating the common and public decency of the town by scratching in private areas. 400 people went to the trial. The rooster was found guilty. Four kegs of beer, too, it was funny. And had to serve out his sentence on our property in Madisonville. <laughs> and he had to appear at the Oktoberfest and the Madisonville um, Mardi Gras Boat Festival, Boat Parade. Reveille eventually went to fly with the angels, but someone was determined to keep this new tradition alive. Every time he would get maybe run over by a car, Mayor Peter Gitz would drop another one off at my house, and the story kept going. It, the town made you no know, rooster, rooster crossing, crossing signs. signs. We don't lose Reveille. He's, uh, he seems to be a fixture. He may be younger. He may get hit by a car one day and, and show up again the next. You can't drive down any street in Madisonville without seeing a live rooster or a tribute. And it all began with the Arnolds and Reveille. Yeah, he was the very first one that, in, that we... In town, yeah. In town. Now they're everywhere. Yes. Yes, they are. 
for the complainant back in 1989, she had already left town before the trial even began, moving back across the lake. Perhaps the problem wasn't solely with the complaint, but who it was coming from. This was toward the end of the 80s when we started to get a few more people from New Orleans coming in. So we did have some what we call homegrowns who were kind of getting a little upset because people were coming in and then wanting to change what we had. Hey, Red, come see. Recently, we walked around town meeting the current residents of all walks of life. Come on. Come on, Red. Some of the roosters have homes. Others make their coops where they please. I know, really. So, uh, you hear him? <laughs> That's Red. We call him Red. I don't know what his name is. I just think it, it's great that it's part of this whole small town feel. Come on. This is my home. I mean, I, I love it here and would not live anywhere else in the world. I just, I just love it. Um, and this is part of the reason why, you know, the country feel. Just to like drive into town the other day, there was a rooster on a white picket fence crowing one morning and it's just so charming. But I know four o'clock in the morning would not be charming. <laughs> Whether you see the rooster as a ruckus or a rock star, he rules the roost in Madisonville. So if you're not birds of a feather, you can flock somewhere else. <laughs> oh my is, is goodness. Is there a single pun you missed? What? No, I love this story.